probably my favorite event of the year. Flat out. I actually, I felt like a reserved stomach. One side of the stomach is for the daily eating, and then the other side of the stomach is specifically for this event. It's, of course, the Greek Food Festival. 48th annual coming up, and we are really excited about it. John Katsoulis, he is here talking about the food festival. Oh my goodness, it's back. We're so excited. How are you, buddy? Sean, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I feel horrible. I don't have the food to make your studio smell so good because that's part of the experience is when you walk into the festival, you all of a sudden you hear the music, you see the lights on this huge production with the nine-piece instrument, uh, nine-piece uh, band that we have playing on the stage with all the lights, but the smell, all it right. just gets you right in the face and it just makes you hungry right away. It's incredible. I will tell you, John, you know, it really didn't uh, didn't dawn on me uh, about how bad uh, this whole COVID thing and work from home thing has been until right now. <laughs> <laughs> right at this moment we would always come yeah. in there oh. yeah we always used to come in with a ton of food you guys would eat we'd eat it's a big party well you know what i'm gonna have to end up actually going to the party which i end up doing every year anyway saint john the baptist greek orthodox church taking place the 10th through the 12th uh tell for those so for those who have never been before what you said i mean you got the the band playing you got food to the left right front and back you got the kids area i mean it is really and shopping there's something for everybody so we have a huge, huge festivities today, two o'clock, Tivoli Village. We're starting our 22, 26.2 mile run. There's still time to sponsor a leg in it or even run if you want to. And that will wind its way through Las Vegas and lighting the torch at the festival grounds at seven o'clock, which are at 5300 South El Camino, essentially Hacienda and Jones. Hacienda is north of Russell, south of Trop, and we're in between Jones and Rainbow. So easy on and off to get to, plenty of parking to get in. And that's when you get to see the torch lighting and everything going on. To let you guys know, it's $8 to come in, but active military and their immediate families come in for free. And first responder police and fire, that individual active comes, comes in for free. And so we want the community of Las Vegas to come out and support all our first responders and our military. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it's just an amazing thing. Saturday, all day, it starts at 3 o'clock to 11. Same thing for Friday, 3 o'clock to 11. Uh, Sunday is noon to 10. And uh, it's just, it's amazing. The pastries, when you're done eating the souflaki, when you're done eating the gyros, the Greek fries, the salad, the saganaki, everything, <laughs> you go back for the baklava. I know you like that, Sean. Uh, you know, I enter the Greek food festival uh zero percent greek in my blood and then i leave about 72 percent. that's just like that's how much i end up consuming when i'm there and really it's so great to be able to be on the campus of saint john the baptist greek orthodox church it is an unbelievably beautiful location and it's part of the reason of the festival is to get people there and to be able to help support the church you know it's our fundraiser this is what keeps the doors open for the church last year was a tough year it was a yeah. tough year for everybody this gives las vegas a chance to come out. This is really the first big outdoor event in Las Vegas. The, the Greek Food Festival here in Las Vegas is the largest ethnic festival in the state of Nevada. It's the largest Greek food festival on the West Coast. Wow. This is a party that can't be missed because you're going to come happy. You're going to leave ecstatic and full. It's a, it's a great it's a great adventure. If you're not and we full, also have a kids area. You do it right. Yeah, and the kids area is a lot of fun as well. My kids, I have Colin and Mario uh, are obsessed with it. And there's a charity angle every year as well. There is for the uh, run, it's families for effective autism treatment is the marathon that we're doing. And then we also have a raffle. The first place is $25,000 and we have five $1,000 prizes also. And there's a couple charities that uh, get uh, the some of the proceeds from that. And that's the Johnny Christopher Children's Foundation mm -hmm. and also the Suicide Prevention Nevada chapter. So there's a lot of good things we share with the community because we want the community to come in. And and this is a Las Vegas event. It's a staple. You should have an all you can eat gyro, like 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 a like a competition. Like you know how there's like the hot dog eating competition? You hit me with that gyro eating competition. I don't want to say I'd win it, but I'd come close. <laughs> it's my great favorite. idea. We might have to incorporate it. You never know. And we'll call it the Sean contest. I'll Absolutely. sign whatever waiver you got, <laughs> I'm in. It'd I love great. it. John, it's great getting to talk to you. And really, we are so thrilled that this is, I've been seeing the posters all around while I'm driving. And I'm like, man, 
All right, that's good. We got this this year. We have something to look forward to. John, great seeing you, my friend. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Thank you so much, and can't wait to see you this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Today through Sunday, it's the 48th annual Greek Food Festival at St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church. It's at 5300 South El Camino Road. All the information you need at lvgff.com. And if you want to sponsor anything, there's still a little bit of time left. The number right there on your screen.